Hi everybody, it's Christopher and welcome to Life's Not Over, It Just Looks Different on YouTube. Back in March, I did a video about learning a new place and a new neighborhood as a person with sight loss when my fiance and I moved into our new home. Since that time, I've gotten very comfortable at our immediate area getting around to find the bus stop when I need it or to find the uh, local strip mall that is not very far away and I go back and forth to there quite often so that's been pretty easy and very straightforward and more recently uh, I've gotten to a point where I'm really comfortable getting to and from the LRT when I don't feel like waiting for the bus because the weather is nice now I don't have to I can get to and from the LRT station now which is about a half hour walk and I'm good and comfortable with that I know where I'm going it's a fairly straight forward route as it turns out but for a while there I was using my GPS just to make sure that I wasn't getting lost but now I've got that route down it's well into my back pocket and I'm, I'm comfortable there too. There was one trip though recently that did not turn out very well at all. I had to go to uh, it's not a very close drugstore to pick up some uh, medication because my fiance wasn't feeling well so I thought well I'm gonna tackle this and I looked on my phone located it on the GPS it said it was going to be about a 45 minute walk to get there so I thought okay that's very doable it looked fairly straightforward on the map on my phone and I started walking and it got me up to the complex where the drugstore was located but inside of that complex that's where my phone got very lost and so I followed the directions as it gave me the instructions and it said, you've arrived. And I looked and I was at sort of a strip mall type complex. In fact, there was a little cafe that I was standing right in front of. And I'm thinking, well, this is not what I was looking for. And then I thought, well, okay, so the GPS might be a little off. It does that occasionally. So I thought, well, there's a large building over there in the complex. I'll go see if that's the one. Because from a distance, reading the signage on these places is really difficult for me. And my bad, I didn't happen to bring my monocular with me to be able to read them from a distance. So I had to walk over there to see if it was the store I needed. Turns out it wasn't. So then I saw another large building. Okay, I'll go try that one. Nope, wasn't there either. And I kept following, sort of looking at the phone and seeing it, it would say, okay, it's 300 meters that way. Or So I'd walk that way and nope, still wasn't there. So it was getting very confusing. It was a very hot day. We were going through a bit of a heat wave here in Calgary. And so it was a very hot day to be out. And finally, I gave in. I went into one of the stores and uh, saw one of the staff right away. And she said, can I help you? And I said, yes, I'm lost. And I did have my white cane out. So she hopefully knew right away that I was a person with sight loss. I said, I'm lost. I'm trying to find this store. And she said, oh, OK, yeah, you have to go out. She said, can you see that building way over there, that large building? And I said, well, sort of. I, I see the general area you're, po you're pointing. So I, she said, go towards that building. And then just before you get there, there's going to be a little road that takes you sort of in behind um, another building. And she said, that's where you'll find it. I went, wow, my phone is way off if that's the case. But I followed her instructions, walked towards that large building. It became more evident to me as I got closer to it, found the little roadway turned the corner, finally found the building I was looking for. But, you know, including the walk up there, the 45 minute or so walk up there, I probably walked around for another half hour or 45 minutes before I was actually able to get to the place. And then, funny enough, when I was leaving there, uh, I punched the directions into my phone to get back home again. It was able to do that without any problem. But there have been certain times when my phone just doesn't get it or maybe the building has moved or something has happened or maybe the the directions are just off by that much um, i can remember one other incident a few years ago where i was being referred to an ophthalmologist and i thought well i can get to that ophthalmologist on my own and so i punched it in my phone my phone was leading me there but then it got it got me into this area where a lot of the streets had the same name, sort of. Um, it was, it, I don't know why they do it this way, but in, in Calgary here, they tend to make entire neighborhoods where the, the first word is like uh, ranch lands, for instance, the neighborhood that I'm in. And it'll be, and then there's 
ranch this and ranch that and ranch this and ranch the other thing. And they all start with ranch. And it gets, I, I don't know if it's the phone that gets confused, if the directions are bad, I don't know what happens, but this incident of getting to this drugstore was not the first time that that's happened to me, not the first time that the phone has gotten sort of um, confused and unable to actually get me to the direction I was, or the, the destination I'm looking for. So in the case of that ophthalmologist a few years ago, after looking around for quite a while, I finally gave up and went back to my optometrist and said, I need a different referral to a different part of the city, um, which turned out okay. So the phone is not always my best friend when it comes time to guiding me around and being able to help me find these places, but it helps me more often than not. So it is still a very usable tool for me. I use it a lot to get me around because the, the voiceover feature will read out all of the directions to me. And if I want it to, it'll read it basically to me about every 10, mini, 10 meters as I walk, which that can get it to be a little much. Um, I, I don't necessarily want it to read it to me that much. But it is a fairly useful tool, uh, especially when you're learning a new neighborhood until it happens to get lost and it doesn't know where it's going. That was everything I wanted to share in today's video. I thank you very much for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful summertime. It's beautiful weather out for most of us right now, and I hope you have a wonderful day.